Everyone desires to be exceptional, but the work required to achieve it is often avoided. One city in Texas has managed to harvest elite performance on a consistent basis. 75115 Elite Texas Soto, Texas has been a factory of creating elite football stars such as Super Bowl MVP Von Miller to more recent stars such as Texas' new five-star receiver, Jonte Cook. One thing you can count on in elite Texas is that this factory is running well. I knew he was going to take a hit losing a quarterback because that's essentially the leader of your offense. All right, and uh, and the, one of the leaders of your team. So um, I had anticipated that we would uh, dominate, that we would win district as well, you know, and that's my goal for those guys. The McCowan eighth grade football team is an elite collection between talent, skill, size, and speed. But replacing a key position such as quarterback present new challenges. So Maja, his brother done played quarterback uh, all their life, so I know he had somewhat of experience at quarterback, but I know Samaja has personally, so I know he was a confident person, so no matter what, he gonna, he gonna bet on himself. And as long as he had confidence in himself, I was gonna have confidence in him. I, uh, I feel I've been at DeSoto for uh, nine years now, uh, so I've seen a lot of uh, great athletes and great classes of uh, athletes come through DeSoto. Uh, by far, this is the uh, best group of, uh, of, of middle school talent that I've ever seen come through DeSoto. During the summer, everybody have been working. We ain't stopped working, so. Like, players like Eli, Goose, Ruby, and myself, we, we've been working during the whole summer, so. I think we'll be ready for this year. Uh, of course, I feel like we're supposed to win anything, everything, any and everything, because we had the best team overall. Against Kinnamer, I know we can't, we cannot start off slow, because if we start off slow, they're going to be on our neck the whole game, so. When I die, I know I should have went to hell. I said against God that it ain't hard to tell. Don't make sense, me up in heaven with the goody goodies. I deserve every drop if I ain't mimic Christ fully. Never tried it, I bit the bullet. Matter of fact, I played Russian rule like hacky sack, hacky shack. What was that? I was acting foolish. So when he saved me, I was like, what the heck I'm doing? The least I can give him is everything. While Jesus is interceding, like, please hold back your righteous anger. Jesus did bleed to present us stainless. Death is your gang, gang. They better respect my gangster. I'm trying to live above reproach, approach and get the same thing. These water markets is mocking us. You can stop your clock and get clocked in the head. This the apocalypse. I ain't tripping. I'm living in dead. McCowan's talent was definitely on display in the first half. But so were mishaps, errors, and penalties. All of which are difficult to overcome against a good opponent. The first half, we did the exact opposite of what I told us not to do. You know, we started off slow, sloppy, a lot of turnovers, and we didn't capitalize on the stop that we did have, so. And that's why I'm ready to die, it's no big. This, this a scandal, this right here a scandal. Too much just to handle. How can I be his body? I can't even touch his sandals. I feel we came out uh, flat. I feel we came out uh, low energy. Uh, and that was a point of emphasis that I, you know, uh, uh, shared with them at halftime. Dog, keep playing. We're in the doggone ball game. Okay? We just got to keep playing and execute the plays. Okay? Right. See, I'm going with my boy, Caden. Say, I need y'all to settle down. Okay? Settle down. The difference that I see is they're playing on the more composed, more control, uh, more poised than us, right? Okay, we're fidgety, okay, and we're not locked in right now, executing what we need to execute. Anytime I'm down at half, uh, keep the team up, keep their uh, heads up, you know, uh, keep their confidence up, because if their confidence loves, we already beat.
defense stepped up in the second half. Uh, the leaders, the leaders on the team, they was uh, more talkative. Team, they had more confidence in the team. Uh, we played with more swag that second half. It appeared that McCowan converted a 4th and 10, but questionable calls ended a game-winning drive. McCowan's final play was called for an illegal forward pass, and it ended their chances at a I'm perfect I'm going to say this, season. eyes up. Help me soft. Help me soft. First thing, first thing is body language, okay? I don't give a damn if, we, if it's a win or a loss, okay? You will not look defeated. Stay off social media. Don't worry about all that talking. Don't find yourself in a situation where you're allowing these boys to get you suspended. Right? right? Eyes on Bessie right now. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Right? We did a lot of good things. And I'm proud of y'all heart and y'all fight. We're going to go back to practice and we're going to get better and we're going to work all right, and perfect okay, like what we do offensively and defensively. In DeSoto, there are extremely high expectations for all students and athletes. No one holds their student athletes to higher standards than McCowan's women coaches. So seventh grade, my girls came in already at a deficit. We had several issues just with getting athletes cleared and physicals. And so we had four days to prepare. So four, I had to do tryouts. And then once we did trials, the next day was you made the team and let's practice because our game is on Monday. Yeah. And so there was already a lot of anxiety with that, right? They, they, a lot of them couldn't play. Jewel was probably my only athlete that had played volleyball. And everyone else was kind of like, we're trying it. And so um, they played the first game. A and B team, we lost. It was devastating. But I also knew what I had to go back in and and do to get them prepared for the rest of the season. So we dived in. I started to come here at six o'clock in the morning for practices to give them that two hours. So they got their 10 hours of UIL a lot of time. Um, it was extremely difficult, right? Because we, we didn't have to be here till athletics, but coming at six meant that they were gonna get the, fun, the fundamentally things that they needed for volleyball. And they didn't lose a game after that. It was a lot of our first year. Like my very first year picking up volleyball was last year. I started playing volleyball seventh grade year. I didn't really know much about it, but when Coach Ian started talking about it and when I was in athletics and my mom seen my schedule, she was like, you might as well try before you get out of athletics. When it comes to championships in DeSoto, the young women win them on the regular. Across several sports, DeSoto's young women dominate the state and the nation. The work put in by the middle school coaches in Elite Texas helps these young ladies develop for future success. I knew, I remember throughout the game, I just kept looking at my coach and she was like, you got it, you got it.
extra set. Nobody wants to ever have to keep going from like point to point to point to point. Nobody ever wants to do that. Week one of McCowan Athletics did not go as planned, but the coaches and athletes will go back to work to iron out the wrinkles they faced in the opening week. Annually, McCowan's Fine Arts Department and the PTA put on a fall festival celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. This event is one of the largest productions of the school year. The, the visual that you have of DeSoto outside of the state, it is black excellence, right? Um, but what is unique also is that we are so close to Mexico. And so I feel like we have a different um, awareness, right, for that culture, because it's almost like that culture is our culture. And so even though we have our own identity as African-Americans, it's like, we know what authentic Mexican food is, and we know what authentic Tex-Mex is. Like, we know that. You know, you can go anywhere else and be like, no, nah, this, <laughs> this is not real, you know? If I were in this school, and I were an Hispanic student, like, I wanna know that you value me too. Like, everything just doesn't have to be about one culture, right? Um, so I definitely got behind that charge because we put a lot of time and energy into black history programs. We put a lot of time and energy into the veterans, right? We, and those things are also important, but there's a huge population that needs to be addressed and acknowledged, you know? I like helping people out with my friends because I know a lot of people are like less fortunate and stuff like that. So to help a lot of people out, it felt really good. And I like that they had Kona Ice this year because I like snow cones for Kona Ice. Yeah, where are y'all playing right now? Excellence is an expectation in Elite Texas. Several of Mr. Walker's choir students went on to DeSoto High and helped Miss Pamela Dawson win a Grammy Award for Music Educator of the Year. Dr. Nelson's Honors Band are often awarded ones in UIL band competitions. To be an elite company member simply means that you, you know, you exude the five characteristics of a McCowan student. Pride, right? Persistence, respect, integrity, having discipline, obviously, because dance is a discipline, and then effort. Um, and so it's important that they exude those five qualities um, because they're necessary in order for them to be, to go from good to great, you know, to advance to another level. Um, Got to be persistent, you know, going to practice. You have to have respect for yourself, other people that you are around, as well as the craft itself, because it's not easy. You know, dance is not for the weak. It looks easy and simple, but it's a lot of hard work that goes into it. Um, integrity is a big thing, you know, taking accountability, doing the right thing, even when you think nobody is watching. Discipline, obviously, you know, like I said, dance is a discipline, but you have to be able to take ownership of your learning and be a leader, even when your instructor is not there. And then obviously effort, you gotta give it all you got. You know, what you put into it is what you will get out of it. According to Black Excellence, DeSoto zip code 75115 is the wealthiest black zip code in Texas. For this reason, it is attractive to black families that look for safety and opportunity. Chicago is a very special place to me to live because it's very family oriented. Because like, when something bad happens, like your block can be there for you, at least where I'm from. No matter if you're just a hoper, you can be a, a preacher and still some of the game bankers, if they know you well enough, they'll still be supportive to you and your family. DeSoto is home to several residents originally from New York City, Los Angeles, and Chicago. Right. 
living here in the Soto, I didn't have to grow up too fast. I just had the chance to be a kid. Because in Chicago, once you experience one thing, one piece of trauma, then you just start to grow up fast. You can turn your life to gangs and et cetera. But in the Soto, I didn't have to do all that because my mom put us in a situation to where we can just be kids. Friendship is essential to the soul. Bonds created in elite Texas often last for a lifetime and help shape you for success. Me and Melik, um, we just, we mad type. We got respect for each other, you know, we always tell each other what we need to hear and what we want to hear, you know. We uh, make sure we each, other, each other safe, make sure we cool. We just, we got a bond to like something like nothing can really break it. We've been friends for like 11 years. One thing positive about my teammates, cause you know, I run track and all, that they push me to do better in track. Cause track is my sport. Like I really, like I, I, track is over anything right now. And they push me hard to succeed in track. Like since for instance, Savannah in winter, they would not let me like slow down or give up. And like nobody can ever just bring us apart. Like we can argue mad crazy one day. And then the next day, back, what's good, bro? You good? Just ask each other, makes it be cool. But like, it's just nothing can like break our bond we got. Like, it's it's unbreakable. Like, with real seriousness. Love and respect are important values in DeSoto. McCowan's principals, counselors, and teachers often go the extra mile to ensure McCowan students are set up for success in the future. Coach C, she's like, Coach C is not just my teacher, she's like my coach, my auntie, my everything, like, coach, yeah. And Coach C, I just like how she, she don't hold back, she keep it going no matter what, like, even on the track, in the classroom, in the, like, everywhere, she always on me and she don't, she don't give up, basically, and she believe in other people when they don't believe in themselves. Miss Drummond, she real. She real cool, and she real, but she's also strict. Like she makes sure you do what you need to do, and you're on your stuff with grades. When it comes to just following the rules, she makes sure you you got you you, you got your life together. Miss King, it's like you gotta know, like yeah, if you're not doing your work, she gonna be on you. But at the same time, she gonna make sure you know that she love you. She don't mean no harm. Like a lot of teachers, well a lot of people, they don't take it, they don't know how to take criticism from a teacher, how the teacher takes it. And to me, Miss King, that's why I love her and she had a big impact in my life because I'm the type of person, you gotta be on me, but at the same time we can be cool. And Miss King, yeah. Persistence and endurance are both important to develop a successful culture. McCowan's Middle School staff are committed to elite performances across the board. Students take major pride in performing for their school and is shown most during homecoming week with the matchup with their elite Texas rival, DeSoto West Middle School. You know what's just to get you some respect You gotta keep the pressure Keep your foot up on their neck, right? Yeah, yeah Make it so they never won't forget Always stay true Keep that shit across your chest Cause I'm playing for the winning team boop, 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 boop. I don't care if I fall, boy I swear I want it all I'm playing for the winning team yeah, yeah. I'ma die as a legend, man I swear they gon' remember me I've been getting to the digits Folks ain't see the vision When I was in the kitchen McCowan students would travel Northwestmoreland Road to DeSoto High School, and West students would travel south. This is the Battle of Westmoreland. The rivalry between West and McCowan, like Batman versus Superman. I mean, it felt like a, like a setback, and we know we had to play harder because. You know, we can't lose the West. That's like the main thing. If you lose everybody, make sure you beat West. So it's like a setback. We lost our receiver, we lost our running back. So it's like, 
we got to play harder to uh, fill in for those positions. We split up, so now it's like the subtle, like half of the subtle on one side, the other the subtle on the other side. So now it's like when we in high school, now we fight for argument rights for when we in high school. It's really like more of my partners because I'm cool with most people at West. So it's really like I'm going against my homeboy. So it's like really like backyard football type. I was surprised actually they were kicking it to me because I thought like it was going to, because how the wind was, I thought it was going to bounce out of bounds. So I was really finna let it go out of bounds. But then it just kicked to me. And I ain't had no hole over here, so I just ran to the outside. I know ain't nobody faster than me, so I would just run to the outside where I could make a hole myself. So. As soon as he scored, confident booster. It's like we, we got high, we knew we got, we had to get in there. In two years worth of time, what? I was ready to fly. What? I already had flu. Yeah. I'm not ready to die. Yes. Cause I wasn't as high. Yeah. Haven't touched the sky. Yeah. How much you wanna the microphones with the microphones? I'm in the zone. Yes, I'm focusing ready. Yes, most definitely steady. Yes, it is heavy. I hope they know that I'm deadly. Yes, the fire is burning. Yes, I'm the person to blame. Yes.